Hello guys, welcome to Technical Biodoya. Finally, iOS 18 is here and it's there on my iPhone 15 Plus. So guys, today in this video, we'll cover about main feature, just an overview about main features and in detail video about features will be coming out later. So for that, like the video and stay tuned by subscribing. So now, getting back to the video, talking about the first feature that is your lock screen customization and guys finally this feature is here where we can customize our icons on lock screen that is your camera icon and a flashlight icon just go ahead hard press on the lock screen okay tap on customize and tap on customize lock screen and here now there is a new feature new setting available to remove the current icons and add your new icons just go ahead Remove it and just tap on plus icon and here you can choose from multiple options given for you and just add your new options or new features as per your favorite or convenient. Yes, it's there. So now getting about the second feature that is your home screen customization which was widely discussed before the release of iOS 18 and here yes some leaks were true that we can replace that we can place our icons anywhere on home screen as per our convenience so it is true so do one thing just go into edit mode okay jiggle mode and here just hold the icons and drag it and place it anywhere you want to wish to place them that's the one thing second thing if you see here talking about home screen the next thing we can do here is that we can convert any app icons into widgets so here any application which supports widget or has a widget directly we can convert into a widget just hard press on the app icon and here there is an option to given as a widgets just go ahead choose your widget set and that app icons can be converted instantly will be turned into widgets on your iphone home screen Similarly, to get back, just do one thing, hard press on the widget and here choose the app icon. So instantly, you will be reversed back to your app icon. So you can switch between as per your convenient. And guys, one more thing, the best thing I liked about home screen customization, that is your coloring the app icons. Yes, it is there. So do one thing, hard press on the home screen, jiggle mode, left side top corner, tap on plus icon and here choose customize once you do that automatically below you will see one options the first one is automatic so you can your app icons will be switched as per your device dark mode and light mode the next thing will be dark mode if you choose that automatically your app icons will be turned dark mode completely dark okay all the app icons similarly the light mode default mode and the last one that is your tint so here you can choose your own color as per your own convenient or as per your own liking just go ahead tap on tint and here is your color palette just go ahead drag the icons or drag the screen here and you can choose your own color to tint your app icons on your iphone home screen in ios 18 it is one of the best thing on iphone ios customization also the next thing that is regarding your privacy and here now we can easily hide and lock our applications on iphone home screen yes it is possible just go ahead tap on any application hard press it and here there is an option called require face id just go ahead and choose that and once you enable that so next time whenever you are opening the particular application that will ask for your face id for authentication as you see here ios 18 is full of amazing surprises similarly the next thing is really cool that is your control center redesign if you see here if you drag it here as you can see on the screen now the control center has been fully redesigned for you in ios 18 here control center icons has been redesigned okay in circular format also here you can switch between the multiple pages in control center as you can see here there are multiple pages given to you like your main control center the next thing that is your music and network okay switch between the pages instantly as per your convenience also the icons on control center can be customized as per your convenient here you can increase the size or decrease the size here of a icons here like circular format just drag them hold them drag them to a as per your own convenient so the icons like your volume your brightness your sound so those icons what happen they are like a dragging right so they won't be able to change but other icons like your camera focused your dark mode low power mode anything can be changed as per your own convenient okay so it is really cool feature okay and finally it is there to customize and have your own control center as per your own liking and as per your own favorite items here 
नेक्स्ट थिंग वॉट वी हैव हियर इज दैट इज अ पासवर्ड एप्लीकेशन सो अर्लियर दिस पासवर्ड ऑप्शन वॉज अवेलेबल इन आईफोन सेटिंग एप्लीकेशन बट हियर नाउ देर इज सेपरेट इंडिव्यूजल एप गिवन टू यू वेर यू कैन सेव यूर ओन पासवर्ड और यू कैन कीप अ आय और चेक यूर ओन पासवर्ड फॉर डिफरंट लाइक यूर एप्लीकेशन वेबसाइट ऑल द पोर्टल्स विल बी सेव्ड हियर वेर यू कैन इंस्टेंटली एक्सेस दैम एंड हैव अ लुक The next feature we'll talk about that is regarding your iMessage. Yes, there are some big changes to given to your iMessage feature. So basically here the first one we'll talk about that is your tap back option. Earlier the option given in tap backs were very few, but now there are endless emojis we can use. So all the emojis are available here to reply or as a tap back option on a iMessage. The second amazing feature about iMessage that is your text effect. So now while typing in iMessage at a right side about a keyboard you will see one icon of a A. Okay, just do one thing, tap on that. Once you tap on that, there are multiple option given to you, samples given to you about a text effect. Just go ahead, choose any one of them and here just go ahead and type a message. So when you send them, that message will be delivered in that text effect only okay there are some cool amazing and funny uh, effects you can you will like it on your iphone and lastly about i message the most awaited message feature that is your send letter or that is your schedule messages so now just go ahead while typing here tap on a plus icon at the left side and here just swipe up and choose option called send letter once you choose that now here you can schedule your messages as per your own timing and date here if you see above i can see the date okay today and time so as per your own convenient just go ahead tap on that okay change the date change the time and below just type the message so automatically once you send it it will be saved in the messages and it will be delivered at a particular time which you have scheduled and lastly talking about setting application there has been some major redesigning done in a setting application taking from your general anything okay there is a heading also below the things are made very clean and neat the new look is amazing and really neat and clean as per my opinion so in simple words the setting app has been redesigned and made neat and clean so guys that's it for this video now there are many more features available in ios 18 which i'll be covering in coming videos might be a separate video for each feature explaining how it works and how to use it because all the features in single video won't look good and won't make a sense here so for that don't miss them stores so stay tuned by liking the video and giving a subscribe until then thank you very much bye bye see you in the next video of ios 18 and new features